Hello and welcome back to Fun Fairs and I. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Everyone in the Fun Fair community has a bucket list, so today I'm going to share the top 10 rides on my bucket list. Also, note that I'm only including rides that are outside Northern Ireland. Anything international or anything down in the Republic of Ireland will be included. But before we begin, if you love fun fairs and amusement parks, please subscribe because there'll be more content similar to this in the future. And with that out of the way, here are the top 10 rides on my bucket list. At number 10, we have Gyro Loop. At first, this ride looks like nothing special, it just looks like a really small top spin, but then once you get on, you realise it's something different. You are the ride op on this attraction. On the right there are three buttons, one of them is forwards, one of them is backwards, and one locks the car in place. Now if that doesn't sound cool, I don't know what is, because in my opinion, controlling any ride will get it up on a high score in my opinion. Now I'm not too sure where I can find one of these, I know one used to operate at Fantasia Bettystown, I know there might be one at Fantasia Draw here because it's on the website, but it says coming soon, so I'm not too sure about that. At number 9 we have Slingshot, also known as Reverse Bungee. We all know this ride from those videos that say, Kid passes out on roller coaster, OMG. However, despite this stupid reputation amongst the GP, I still really want to give this ride a try. The first launch looks incredible and the way it flips high above the path is sure to be an amazing sensation. So overall, Slingshots look to be great fun attractions that I really hope I get a chance to ride. Number 8. Rockridge. This is the first of a couple of rides that I missed out on. I missed out on this ride when I was at Belfast Winter Wonderland 2018. I remember driving past the place and just seeing it and I freaked out. But sadly, I never got a chance to visit the fair. Now about the ride itself, not only does it do 360 degree rotations, but the vehicles also rock during operation. And sometimes when you're lucky, the vehicles will actually rock so violently that you do a continuous amount of flips. Overall, this ride seems to have a very balanced ride experience that is included with tons of hang time as well as lots of unpredictable flips throughout the ride. Number 7. Commander. This is a Mondial Sheck from the German Fair Circuit and is probably the best Sheck in the world. This is the only Mondial Sheck with a roof travelling. But what makes this ride special is its lights. At night, this is what I call a show. Basically, flashing lights everywhere while the carts are flipping upside down. That's sure to be disorientating. So to sum up Commander, this ride looks absolutely incredible and it looks bonkers with all its flipping and axes of rotation. Number 6. Air Max. With many UK funfair enthusiasts, people say that this is one of the most intense rides to ever operate in the UK. And from the looks of it, I agree. First of all, the ride's counterweight is very, very small, so when it drops down and goes through the station, it must be extremely intense. The ride also does 360 degree rotations, as well as the vehicle flips itself. And sometimes when you're lucky, the ride will actually break at the very top and you will go upside down through the station, which is considered to be one of the most forceful moments it's on a UK fun fair ride because of how small the counterweight is. So Air Max looks to be a fun and forceful ride that I really hope I get to see at a fun fair soon. At number 5, we have Experience. This is the second ride I missed out on this list. One of these used to operate at Barry's Amusements in Portrush before it was removed in 2015. And there are three travelling ones in the UK, and those were Henry Evans Reflex, Graham Sedwick Superspin, and Michael Cullen's Experience, which is the one I'm showing on screen right now. Sadly, all three of them are gone. Two of them are up for sale, so I hope a UK showman can buy one of these attractions. As for the ride itself, it's similar to an orbiter, but the gondolas will flip. Overall, experience looks like to be one of those rides that will leave me absolutely speechless by the end of it, and I hope to ride one soon. Number 4. Zipper. Unlike the other rides on this list, this is the only one on the list that is from America. The zipper is considered one of the most sketchy and out of control rides on the planet. Most likely because you're held in by a door. But the manufacturer Chance Rides has recently updated most zippers with over-the-shoulder restraints. 
However, I'm curious to try the ones that don't have the over-the-shoulder restraints because those look like chaos. I'm not too sure what Chance Rides was thinking when they designed this. I know I'm going to come off this either hating it or loving it, but I still want to book a ticket down to America and visit a carnival that has this in the future. Number 3. Infinity. This is a KMG in version 24 and is the tallest portable looping ride standing at 210 feet tall. This thing is absolutely gigantic and the higher you go, the more intense it gets, especially when you go over the top because of how small the counterweight is, so you'll get insanely extreme positive g-forces at the bottom. Actually, it's so intense at the bottom that the law says that you're not allowed to take the ride over the top more than once. But regardless, the fact that you hang upside down at more than 200 feet in the air makes it high up on my bucket list, so I'd love to ride this in the future if it's at a fair in Germany I manage to visit. Number 2 Ecstasy at Wiener Prater. If you thought Commander was a show, well wait till you see Ecstasy at Wiener Prater. This ride is very similar to the defunct Extreme Orbiter at Barry's Amusements. But unlike Extreme Orbiter, Ecstasy has two differences. First of all, the ride is indoors and features several lights on it. And second of all, the ride's climax holds you upside down and continues to spin while you look down at all the flashing lights down below. In my opinion, I think this would have been the perfect replacement for the experience at Barry's Port Rush. But despite the fact this ride's in an amusement park, the ride is controlled by an insane operator who runs it more like a travelling ride than it does at an amusement park. Overall, this is the definition of insanity in my opinion, and I really hope one day to get down to Vienna in Austria and check this beast out. Before I show you the number one ride on my bucket list, here's just a quick honourable mention. Ice Jet. This is a Matterhorn ride, which unlike Polar Express, which I think is just as equally as fast from the videos, Ice Jet looks better for two reasons. First of all, it runs both forwards and backwards, and second of all, because of all the smoke and lights effect, this truly makes it look much better than Polar Express. And the number one ride on my bucket list is Propeller. This is again another fantastic ride I missed out on. This has been over to Northern Ireland twice, one time in 2012 when it was originally called Inversion XXL, and the other time where I actually saw it it which was in 2018 at again belfast winter wonderland this ride looks fantastic for a number of reasons first of all i think the theming on the ride is it really really good with the arms supposed to represent the plane and you're riding the propeller second of all the ride's gondolas can unlock during the ride and unlike other tall inverting swinging pendulum rides that have unlocking gondolas this one can actually unlock the gondolas the full way round, which means that the gondolas will be unlocked while you do a full inversion, which is sure to be insane. So overall, Propeller looks incredible, really good theming, even though it's not the best in the world, it still does look pretty good. As well as its chaotic appearance with all the gondolas flipping all at one time. So that's why Propeller is the number one ride on my bucket list. I really hope this ride can make a comeback to Thunderland in Dublin, or even better, it goes to Belfast Winter Wonderland if that event will ever happen again. So those are the top 10 flat rides on my bucket list. What are your top 10 flat rides on your bucket list? I'd like to know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.